Good day, fellow mathematicians. After a couple of months, I'm back. Today, we're going to deep dive and indulge ourselves to the world of calculus. And before that, let's um, have food for thought. Ngayon, let's consider a ruler. Meron tayong ruler. If we want to measure the distance between Burnham Park in Baguio City and in the, the monument of Rizal in Manila, Rizal Park, it will be considered to be very short kapag ginamit natin yung ruler as panukat. Tama, di ba? Pero if we consider um, some species of ants, and if we take that specific ruler, it is considered to be very long na panukat. Di ba? There are some distances na kailangan ma magkaiba yung mga panukat. Kaya may, may tinatawag na very short and very long na concept. Ngayon, Basically, calculus is that study of very long and very sh short na notations. Pero, 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 hindi natin yan usually nakikita in everyday practice kasi nakikita natin yung mga derivatives, mga limits. Oo, oh, nagsasabi ako ng mga words na might, um, might not be familiar, pero yun yung nakikita natin. Pero basically, calculus is the study of rates of change of distances. It is the considering what is very short, and what is very long. Ngayon. Ngayon, magsisimula tayo sa calculus in this chapter. Chapter 1. Bakit yan? Chapter 1. Uh, limits. Limits and continuity. Continuity of functions. Limits and continuity of functions. Sa ibang ano, ibang mga tao, they pronounce it as continuity, not continuity. Pero siyempre, gamitin na natin yung continuity as a pronunciation. Ayun, question. 'Di ba sinabi ko kanina yung concept ng ants sa kanung distance ng Burnham Park sa kanang Rizal Park? Ngayon, how? Ito yung food for thought natin. Before we indulge ourselves to calculus basically in terms of discussions and lectures, let's ask these fundamental questions. How close must a positive positive number Ang tanong, sir, bakit positive number kailangan i-consider? Because there is no negative distance. Puro positive lang. Must a positive number let's say x Tawagin natin siyang x. B to 0. Um, for it, for it to be considered, considered small. Small. Gano'ng kala, um, gano kalapit ba ang isang positive number sa, sa 0 para masabi siyang small? Halimbawa, let's have this number line. This is 0, this is 1. Let's say this is 0 0.5. Diba? Si 0 0.5 malapit kay 0. But may mas malapit pa kay 0 0.5. May 0 0.25. Diba? Iyan ay mas maliit kaysa sa 0 0.5. Kasi mas malapit siya sa 0. Pero meron pa mga number na mas malapit kay 0. Which is 0. Point, let's say 0 0.1. Diba? Ayan ang tanong. How close must a number x yung x na yan, yun yung 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.1 to be to, to zero for it to be considered as small. Di ba? Yun yung maganda. Ngayon, isa pa. And and how far? Let's say far. How far must it yung positive number x na yun must it from 0 from 0 to be considered to be considered large. Ngayon, taking the same num uh, number line, ito yung 0, ito yung 1, diba, mas malayo si, malayo si 1 kay 0, of course. May mas malayo pa dyan si 2. May mas malayo pa dyan si 3. Eh, kapag nag-extend pa tayo, may 1,000. Mas malayo yan sa 1, 2, 3. Gano kalayo ba yung mga numbers na yan para makonsider to be large, a large number? Yan lang yung concept na kailangan natin pag-isipan dito. Gano ka close ba at gano kalayo yung mga number, yung mga positive number na x 
para ma-considered as maliit or malaki respectively. Ano bang goal ng ano ng sinasabi ko dito? Ba't ba natin kailangan pakilaman yung pagiging maliit at malaki ng isang number? Ano ba yung goal? The goal um, we aim we aim to give an appropriate appropriate mathematical mathematical language language to formalize formalize the concept the concept of being being near and being far. Kailangan meron tayo isang mathematical language para masabi yung concept na near at far. Kasi near and far are words from the English language. It is not basically acceptable in mathematics. Kailangan magkaroon tayo ng isang notation, isang word na nagde-describe sa salitang near and far na hindi ginagamit yung specific words na yun. Ngayon, and we we do that by asking another question mathematically kasi yung isang tanong natin dun sa taas it's basically by observations ngayon gagamit na tayo ng mga bagay na kino-consider natin na malayo ba at malapit sa math which are basically functions yan yung inaral natin in pre-calculus and in general mathematics yan yung mga functions di ba and i will not be defining functions here ayun isa pang question Given a function, given a function, paano siya isulat in your ano, class? f of x, ganyan basahin yun ha. We asked, ano ba may binigay na f of x? We asked, how near, how near must x be to a number? To a number, let's say a, gawin natin siyang ang color red kasi di ba yung A baka ma magkamali kayo sa article na A in English A so that so that f of x is close enough to a number L ngayon how near must x to be a number to be a number A so that f of x is relatively close to a number L. So, sino magka-partner dyan, guys? Ganito. In pictures, ganito yan, ha? X. And let's say we have an arrow here. X papunta kay A. Ngayon, kapag daw si X ay relatively close kay A, gano'n naman daw kalapit si f of x kay L. Eh, sino ba yung mga x? Di ba yun yung mga function values ng function mo? Yun yung mga values na pumapasok sa function mo. Di ba f of x? Si x yung pumapasok dun sa f. Yung sinasubstitute basically. So, gano kalapit si x kay a para maging malapit si f of x kay number na l? Ganun lang ang sinasabi ng, ano, ng tanong ko na yan. Ngayon, siguro nalilito pa tayo kung ano nga ba ang sinasabi. Ba't ba natin pinapakilaman yung pagiging malapit at malayo ng x sa a at f of x sa l. Ngayon, let's have the intuitive approach of this, what I'm talking about. Yan ito. This is the intuitive, intuitive approach of the questions above. Ito na intuitive approach. Ngayon. Siyempre, dito sa intuitive approach, ito yung pinaka-guidelines natin. Ito yung question. Given, given a function, given a function f of x, and a real number a, ganyan yung sulat yan, di ba? a is an element of r, r is the set of all real numbers, ayun yun. If x is near a, but not equal to a to which to which number is f of x f of x f of x close to yun yung tanong doon sa taas diba nirephrase ko lang ngayon 
Ito na, i-consider natin ito example. Ha. Halimbawa, let f of x be equal to 2x plus 1. And yung value na nilalapitan, pero hindi equal, yung a natin, a is equal to 1. Ngayon, halimbawa, sino yung mga x yun yung tinatanong natin? Sir, sino ba yung mga x? Ngayon, i-fix natin to Halimbawa, ito yung number line. Ito yung 0. Ito yung 1. Ito si A. Ito si A. Di ba may mga values na matatagpuan na manggagaling sa left ni A? Ito yung left. At meron ding values na manggagaling from the right of A, which is 1. Ano mga example sa nasa right? Yun yung 1.01, yung mga 1.1, yung 2, 3, etc. Yung ano naman yung mga values na mga galing kay ano kay sa left ni A na positive hindi dapat maging negative. So, ganun si 0.9, 0.99. Ayun yung mga x na tinatawag. Yung mga yan, yung mga blue na yan. Ayun yung mga x na tinutukoy. Ngayon, hindi naman natin pwedeng i-consider yan in that diagram. Kaya we formally write it in a table. Kasi gano'n naman sa math, di ba? We formally write it in a table. Ngayon, then consider, then consider, ngayon, uh, ito, x values, hiwalay natin, x values on the right, on the right of a equals 1. Ano ba yung mga nasa right ng a equals 1? Yun yung, ito, x, gawa tayong table, di ba? Yun yung sabi ko kanina, gawa tayong table. 1.1, 1.01, 1.001, 1.0001, 1.0001. di ba yung given natin is yung f of x, f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. Ang gagawin mo lang, yung mga x na yan, just substitute it to the function f of x. Ngayon, we'll do that in a calculator. Ngayon, gawin natin siya sa calculator. Let's say 2 multiplied by, ano ba yung una kanina? 1.1 plus 1 equals, fraction yan, so 3.2. Yan, 3.2, adalahanin nyo yan. Ha? Ngayon, paano naman kapag 1.01, yan yun. 3.02. And you get the concept. Ganun lang naman yun. So, you try it on your own. Mapapansin yun. Nadagdagan lang ng 0. See, so this is 3.2. 3.02. 3.002. 3.0002. Yun sa nasa right ng a equals 1. Yun yung mga f of x na nilalapit. Diba? Napapansin nyo, lumalapit siya sa number ano, 3. Yan yung L na sinasabi. Si f of x lumalapit kay L. Di ba? Yan yung si x nag-a-approach kay A. Ito naman si f of x nag-a-approach kay L. Yung A mo is 1. Yung L mo, napapansin nyo, 3. Di ba? Lumalapit siya sa 3. Ngayon, ano naman yung x values? Magulo yung x na yun. x values on the left. On the left of a equals 1. Ano naman yung mga nasa left ng a equals 1? Yan yung x. Ito si f of x. Ano yung mga nasa left? Si 0.9, Di ba? Napapansin nyo, kinukuha ko yung mga values na malapit na malapit kay 1 pero hindi equal sa 1. Correct? Yan, ano mga ano? If we plug it in a calculator, we'll get 2.8, 2.98. If we substitute 0.999 into 2x plus 1, magiging 2.998. And lastly, we'll have 2.9998. And if you notice, again, as x approaches a, which is 1, napapansin nyo, f of x, f of x, is certainly approaching to a number L, which is number 3. Correct? Yan yung concept ng pagiging near and pagiging ano, um, far. ba? Diba? Ngayon, ano yung best guess? Ano yung L? Yun yung tinatanong natin. Eh. What is L? So, the best guess, 
the best guess for this is that if ito yung formal ano, observation natin, formal hypothesis if you say, if x is near 1 but x is not equal to 1, then f of x is indeed close to 3. Ganun lang yun. So basically, yan yung tinatawag na limit. Yan yung concept ng limit. Yung number na 3, yan yung limit ng function na f. And that's what basically calculus is doing. Finding the limit of certain functions. Ganyan ang gagawin natin this entire discussions in this series. Pero, 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 it is not encouraged for us to consider always table of values. Ngayon, ang purpose, bakit ko consider itong table of values? Because I want you to consider intuitively what is the concept of being near and being far sa number na nilalapitan. Pero, may mga mas madaling method para ma-simplify yan without doing this table of values. Basically, ina-appreciate ko lang, pinapa-appreciate ko lang sa inyo yung concept. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you learned something today. I hope that you have appreciated this intuitive approach of discussing what a limit is. In the next video, I will be formally defining what is the informal, diba? formally defining an informal definition of limits and basically examples of the said limits. And until then, mathematicians, keep, keep safe and have a great day. Goodbye now.